South Africa, the Rainbow Nation, is one of the largest and most advanced economies of the African continent. The story of the formation of South Africa has many exciting parts. South Africa came prominently into the limelight of world interest with the discovery of Karpstadt, presently known as Cape Town, also known as the mother city of South Africa. In this video, we are going to know some interesting facts about this unique country. In the northern part of South Africa, close to the Johannesburg, there is a cave structure called the Sterkfontein. Within these caves, archaeologists have revealed some of the earliest human fossils, which are more than 2 million years old. For this discovery, the region earned the nickname of Cradle of Humankind. Thousands of years ago, tribes of hunter-gatherers also known as the San, or Bushmen, started moving into South Africa. Many San still lives around the Kalahari Desert in the northwest. Around the year 1400, European ships traveling towards the Far East regions, began settling on the South African coast for supplies. In the year 1652, the Netherlands built the southern city of Cape Town, and Dutch settlers known as Boers, started living in the areas around the city. In the year 1806, conflicts in Europe left the British in charge of the Cape Town colony. In the year 1910, the British unified four colonies in the area, and founded South Africa. They created laws that isolated white Africans from black South Africans, a method of division called the apartheid, which ultimately started the decades of conflict. South Africa is located in the southern part of the continent of Africa. The west coast is washed by the Atlantic Ocean and the east coast by the Indian Ocean. The northern boundary adjoins the mandated territory of southwest Africa, Bechuanaland, southern Rhodesia, and Portuguese East Africa. The country is comprised of four regions, the Cape Province which is also known as the Cape of Good Hope, the Orange Free State, the Transvaal and Natal. The total area of the country is 1.22 million kilometers square, which is approximately one-sixth of the size of the USA. Most of South Africa's landscape is made up of large, flat areas known as plateaus. These areas are covered with waving grasslands, known as highfeld, and tree-dotted plains known as bushfeld. Interestingly, South Africa has another nation within its borders. Cuddled in the Drakensberg, is the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. Most of South Africa's water comes from the snow-capped mountains of this small, landlocked nation. From the aardvarks, to the zebras, South Africa is full of wildlife in terms of versatility. The country takes up just about 1% of Earth's land surface, but is home to about 10% of the world's identified bird, fish, and plant species, and about 6% of its mammal and reptile kinds. The seas nearby South Africa are also crowded with wildlife. Thousands of marine species visit South African streams every year. South Africa strives to protect its wildlife, with dozens of protected land and marine areas, including the popular Kruger National Park in the north, as well as nearly 9,000 privately owned reserves throughout the country. South Africa rests partially in the subtropical, and largely in the south temperate zone. It has mild, exhilarating weather with an annual average temperature of 60.85 degrees. The legislative capital of South Africa is Cape Town, and the administrative capital of South Africa is Pretoria. Cape Town is also known as the mother city of South Africa. The city is also famous for its famous ports. Other major cities are Johannesburg, Durban, Pretoria, Port Elizabeth, East London, Bloemfontein, Pietermaritzburg, and Kimberley. Johannesburg is the commercial, industrial, and gold mining capital of the nation. It is also the largest city in South Africa. Natural resources, farming, tourism, and manufacturing have made the nation the largest economy of the African continent. South Africa has been a democratic republic since holding its first truly free election in the year 1994. South Africa is a constitutional democracy with a three-tier system of government and an independent judiciary. 
The national, provincial and local levels of government have legislative, e and executive authority in their spheres, and are defined in the constitution as distinctive, interdependent, and interrelated. Operating at both national, and provincial levels are advisory bodies, drawn from South Africa's traditional leaders. It is a stated intention in the constitution, that the country is running on a system of cooperative governance. The government is committed to the building of a non-racial, non-sexist, democratic, united, and successful South Africa. In the Happiness Index, South Africa's score is 4.81 points, where 0 is the lowest score and 10 being the highest. People from different races make up South Africa, each with their language and history. The country has 11 official languages, and several unofficial ones. This eccentric mix of cultures gives South Africa a popular nickname, Rainbow Nation. South Africans are enthusiastic about music, they often use songs of folklore, and native dance forms to display social and political ideas. English and Afrikaans are two of the most widely spoken official languages of South Africa. In local areas, several Bantu languages are also prominently used for official purposes. Several excellent universities and notable colleges are located in the country, which offer courses and award degrees in the faculties of arts, sciences, medicine, engineering, law, agriculture, and all major professions. Hospitals in South Africa are mainly handled by the government. The South African Health Department keeps close supervision over the health services of local authorities. Apart from the official health organizations, many semi-private bodies are contributing to public health such as the South African Red Cross, the St. John's Ambulance Association, the South African National Society for Child Welfare, Mission Hospitals, and Ecclesiastical Societies. The two most renowned hospitals are the General Hospital in Johannesburg and the Grootshaw Hospital, both situated in Cape Town. Even though the cost of living in South Africa has climbed considerably, prices are still meager in comparison with the rest of the world. The cost of living in South Africa is 51% cheaper than New York, and 42% cheaper than Tokyo. South Africa is served by five main seaports such as Cape Town, Durban, Port Elizabeth, East London, and Mossel Bay, possessed by the government. Internal communications and transportation are normally carried out by roads, railways and air services. All cities of South Africa have daily newspapers and magazines in English and Afrikaans, while the native population is served by the popular Bantu press. Radio is controlled by the South African Broadcasting Corporation, and news films are produced by African Films at Kelani Studios, Johannesburg. Several manufactured goods are produced in South Africa. Iron and steel production rank top in the country's industrial development. Apart from those main industries, stand industries of food processing, clothing, vehicles, textiles, printed matter, and household furnishings. South Africa's mining industry one of the three leading sources of national income. Agricultural products like maize or corn, wheat and several other grain crops, legume and vegetable crops, deciduous and citrus fruits, sugarcane, tobacco, and cotton. Viticulture is highly advanced, and South Africa is one of the world's prominent producers of wool. South Africa is also the world's largest supplier of gold and diamonds. It has produced several mines, and exports a large range of strategic metals and minerals including chrome, manganese, asbestos, tungsten, and copper. Lately, the possibilities of uranium production regarding gold mining attracted worldwide attention. GDP in South Africa is expected to reach $295 billion by the end of 2020, according to Trading Economics Global Macro Models and Analysts' Expectations. Principal exports items are gold, diamonds, base metals and minerals, wool, fruits, wines and spirits, hides and skins, wattle bark and extract, 
and foods processing. Principal imports are textiles and clothing, industrial and agricultural machinery, electrical machinery, automobiles parts and accessories, motor spirit and oils, wooden paper, foodstuffs, and luxury goods. The total export of South Africa from 2019 to 2020 was $9.1 billion. South Africa exports mostly to China, United Kingdom, the United States, Germany, and India. It mostly imports from China, Germany, the United States, Saudi Arabia, and India. South Africa's development, both economically and politically, is in part underlined by technological development. With an array of tech hubs headed by MNCs like Cisco, Google and Orange, African entrepreneurs are well positioned to tap into technological potential as the country continues its digital transformation. Innovative and forward-thinking MNCs are looking to set the standard in South Africa's digital transformation, and many others will likely follow. South African cuisine culture is rich and one of the best in the region. Due to its settlement, history, and proximity to the coast as well as existing indigenous cultures, the country has a profound mix of foods that are enjoyed countrywide among citizens. The most famous dish is burevors, which is a traditional South African sausage, a favorite for many and among the most consumed South African dishes. It is a mixture of pork and beef with spices. The contents are stuffed into animal skin and served in a coiled shape. It is usually cooked on a barbecue or open fire. Sausage lovers will love this. South Africa is a sports crazy nation. The most popular sports are soccer, rugby, and cricket. They are also known worldwide for their skill in sports, including rugby, cricket, golf, and soccer. In the year 2010, South Africa became the first African nation to host the World Cup. So this was pretty much all about South Africa, the rainbow nation. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Explified.